Coin Talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24-yard line. The Rebels' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays for over the weeks, but the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Sanders picks up about four yards with a catch. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 41-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Oh, shit! He's gonna go for the home run. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers, so that was a really good effort. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He takes it in at the 14, and down he goes at the 27. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 41. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 36. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 49. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From the 50. Second down. Complete pass. 
pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds around the 40-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. And he carries the ball for a nice game. First and 10, ball on the 36-yard line. He makes his way out to about the 25. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he's level at the 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, first down. Play action here. He's going to scramble. And down he goes at the 8-yard line. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. This is the 12th play of this drive. They'll bring him down at the six. The running back gets two on the carry. Man, it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Baylor is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bears are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. from their own 23-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. Slides down. Four yards there on the scramble. receiver and that's a first down and he is drilled at the 41. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41. Pitches back. Picked up by the linebacker. The 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Looks 
like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Under heavy pressure, he gets sacked on the play. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Red two. Three and, it. and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. Six-yard line. Ebner is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle made at the 25. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Look at the scramble now, and he can't get away from the pressure. It's second and ten. Ball on the twenty four. Just throws this one away. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Knocked out of bounds around the 37-yard line. The Bears really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 42. Red two. Red. And he's taken down at the 44. Gain of two yards. That makes it third and three. Runs outside for a nice game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Go. 
He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He takes it right side for a good game. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Brown got a chance to angle it away from the punt returner here. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. the middle for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. And we've reached the end of one. 10-0, Bears. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. From their own 46 yard line. First down. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. it fly catches it to the 10 touchdown Baylor wow an almost impossible pass to defend and it goes for six yep the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time He hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Quick out to his receiver, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 39. That'll make it 
Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 39. Nice run there. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Ebner is back deep to return the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Sanders is back deep to return. Oh, excellent punt. Sanders fields it at the 41. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes his way to about the 32. the catch and look out brought down at the 18 yard line from the 18 yard line it's first down the 10 and down he goes right around the six yard line That's a great tackle at the 10-yard line. From the 10-yard line, second down. Gets to about the eight-yard line. That makes us third and goal. Hey, watch the back, watch the back. Here we go, here we go. Black five, black five. 
Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Touchdown, Rebels! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he tacks on the extra point. Ole Miss to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Rose had a man wide open and he missed him. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of five yards. That'll make it 35. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Sanders, back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 40. He has some room. He kept it himself and picked up about six yards. Seven yard line. <laughs> Brown awaits the snap. He really got a hold of that one. He fields it at the 17. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Baylor just took their first time out, about two minutes before halftime. Decent run here, right side. That makes it third and eleven.
slings it. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. Sanders is back to receive. Booming kick. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Where? Switch, 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 switch. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 24-yard line. It's been a good day for this linebacker, making a lot of plays. Well, he's just one of those defensive players that if you're an offensive coordinator, you're basically building your game plan around his skills. And to think he's racked up these stats in one half is really something. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. From their own 22 yard line. Second down. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's taken down at the 32 yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Let's it fly. And he's got the junior. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. Throws a laser across the middle. Tackle around the 42-yard line. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. We've played a half of football here. The Bears with a 10-point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. But you got the sense at times that it was a little predictable, that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action, but that doesn't mean that your script goes First and 10, I have to run the football. Mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24. Tackled after a decent pickup. tackles around the 40-yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Smith will run it again. They'll get him for a loss. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Throws out and through his hands. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. Nice defensive play. The thing I like here is watch the awareness by the defender. Look how he reads this play, focuses on the ball once it's thrown, and then breaks on the ball to deflect it away. That's tremendous effort. It's broken up. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. From their own 23-yard line, third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop at the 34. at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. First and 10. Ball on the 48. Going right to his tailback. They bring him down in the backfield.
straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. They come out in a five-wide set. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Both players were very aggressive in going after that ball. This could go either way. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. He gets sacked on the play. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Ebner is the deep man awaiting the return. Oh, excellent punt. Ebner takes it at the 21. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Not a bad return. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. run to the outside. That's good for a five yards. That brings them second and From their own 39-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. Here's an opening. Brought down around the 45-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. No gain. That brings up second and nine. He's into the open field. And they push him out at the 33. First down. From the 33 yard line. First down. He's tackled right around the 34. it out to about the 31 yard line third down and they need to get it to the 23 fires quickly and he's got his man a little touching offense Little stumbles like these can Still kill your in. offensive progress. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks away. And it sails right on him. No good. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. 
The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. Second and 10. Ball on their own 36. And he's hit immediately. his way to the 33-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. And he hits him hard at the 24. Quarterback down. From the 32 yard line, it's third down. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 14. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14. He's hit and taken down. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, Mississippi. That is great. Tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he adds the extra point. Ole Miss lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ole Miss has got to feel a little bit uneasy right now. I don't think they're playing with the same attitude that they had in the first half. They seem to have, I don't know, just a, a sense of purpose early in the game. They've lost that. They better find it or they're going to end up losing this game. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Baylor has a three-point lead. He's on the run, and he can't get away from the pressure. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Wants to go long and does. Missed him. Out 
Out of bounds at the 23. Sanders back to return it. Sanders fields it at the 35, and he's taken down at the 41. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And he's level at the 47. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47. Fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. Run right and hit in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. He rifles it to the left. Got it complete, and he's out of bounds. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 17-14, Baylor. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. around the 24-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 24. Makes it to the 14. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. made at about the 11. So we're looking at another third down here. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's got it with room to run. He steps out around the eight-yard line. The kick is up, and it's good. And with that field goal, we are all tied up. Yeah, that was a clutch field goal, without a doubt. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Ole Miss, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. One thing the defense doesn't want to do here is allow any big plays. 
You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Got an opening. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Play fake, looking to run, looking for the corner. There he goes. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 45. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. That makes it second and ten. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. Watch the glass. Watch the glass. Yeah. 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 Motion, motion, motion. motion. <laughs> Scrambling around. <laughs> and they make the stop at the 33 yard line. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 25. Call the game on eight yards. That makes it second and two. They'll get him for a loss. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is make a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. From the 28-yard line, it's third down. On the ground with a tailback. They bring him down in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the twenty-five. He makes it to the twenty-five yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. When you're in a position like this where it's late in the game, you just cannot afford to have such an unproductive possession. Brown is the punter. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Ebner takes it at the 32. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Baylor is up a field goal. He's at the 40. 
And down he goes at the 33. First and 10, ball on the 33-yard line. Nice grab on the play. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. Toss out to the halfback, and he's stuffed immediately. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. zone for the touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 22. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. pass. That's a seven-yard gain. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Close to being intercepted. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Brought down at the 39-yard line. That was a clutch play on fourth down. But they are still down a couple of scores, and it's going to take some work for this team to get back into this game. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. Gets rid of it quickly. That's incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. He fires. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. It's the ninth play of the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. 
He's pushed out of bounds around the 39-yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Got his receiver, but it's knocked out. And they'll take over on downs. They punch it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 43. Nice run there. And that's a first down. First down, and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock. Ole Miss will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. They'll bring him down right around midfield. And he gets a yard on the run. It's a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. The Rebels, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Just over a minute left. This one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Let's go. Going deep. He's got it. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at the 14. The spike will stop the clock. From the 14-yard line, second down. Go for it. And he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. Under a minute left. He launches one for the end zone. Almost intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. They'll line it up for the field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Taken down at the 46-yard line. 
The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 27-20, Baylor. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.